Hi everyone, I'm Shane Stevenson, Director of Museum Collections, you know where, at the Buffalo Naval Park. We love the fact that we've developed this core group of individuals that check out our channel, comment, you guys say hello to each other during the live sessions, and that's what it really matters, right? I'm not so worried about uh, how many people subscribe, but how many people actually enjoy the channel out of those subscribers. And so for all of you guys, uh, it's, it's been wonderful uh, working with you, right? I guess it's kind of working with you. And um, we have a few more videos to go. We're in our last week in 28 and 28, and I'm kind of running, <laughs> tell you the truth, I'm running out of gas a little bit. Uh, but uh, this is a very short video. Probably the prefacing will be long. Oh, I dropped my glasses. Probably the prefacing will be longer uh, than the actual video itself. But I like to talk a little bit about when people are here. Uh, sometimes I'll stand on the croaker when people are here. And I'll tell a little story about her first kill was a whale. So that's uh, the 25th of July, 1944. They had just left Pearl Harbor for their first war patrol. And we've got two accounts because if you've watched my Croker's first War Patrol video that I did a long time ago, probably 9, 10, 11 months ago, you'll know that they had a British liaison officer for her first War Patrol. That was a good one because they sank four Japanese vessels. Uh, Navy unit commendation was awarded. So this really gave this British liaison officer a guy by the name of Lieutenant Barkley Lakin. Uh, it really gave him a nice report to give back to his brass. So we have his report, and we also have, of course, uh, the captain's war patrol report. So I'll read. It's just one sentence, but it's pretty cool. Maybe I'll, yeah, let, let's zoom in on it. Okay, so here he is talking about uh, just leaving uh, Pearl Harbor. And he's talking about the deck mounts. And he says, The ship suffered no damage from the collision. Oh, sorry. All right, here we go. During the passage run, one four-inch gun action was from submerged, was practiced, and all... Automatic weapons were used in an engagement with a profusely bleeding whale which the ship had unintentionally rammed. It says the ship suffered no damage from the collision and the whale none from the gunfire. Reading into the captain's report, it's I don't know if they smacked the whale with the bow or it seems though maybe it got caught up in the propellers. But he also references a uh, profusely bleeding whale, too. So I don't know how this whale would have survived, and they certainly wouldn't have stayed uh, to watch uh, the whale in its death throes. But uh, they chose to try and put it out of its misery. Now for the actual captain's report. Not much is listed, but again, July 25th, 1530. Or 3.30, struck submerged object, noted discolored patch of water astern, turned back and found whale threshing about on the surface and bleeding profusely. They manned the 20mm and 40mm guns and tried to destroy whale. <laughs> Results doubtful. Alright, they checked the pit log, sword arm, and stern planes, no apparent damage. It's one of those things that <clears throat> I can only believe that the whale was actually killed, even though they don't say it, but it's, you know, if you're striking a whale eventually, and if it, especially with your props, uh, it probably would perish at some point. They just didn't hang around for it. So that's, I, I always kind of joke with the visitors that I'd like to get a whale painted on the uh, scoreboard. <laughs> uh, I also mentioned that she was aerial torpedoed. 
Uh, it seems as though, going into the records, that this would have been during her fifth war patrol. So, May of 1945, it was pretty active, especially on one particular day, the 30th of May, 1945. Uh, they sank uh, three smaller oilers, uh, and they were aerial bombed twice. Now, going into the captain's report, it says that one aerial bomb was dropped, not close. It says a second aerial bomb was dropped a little closer. But I think what happened was when they surfaced, they saw this damage. And after her fifth war patrol, before her sixth war patrol, they got that repaired. This was port. Thankfully, it was a torpedo. I don't know, maybe it was a dud, but certainly the weight of being dropped uh, from a plane uh, caused that damage. Uh, but there must not have been an explosion. Maybe it was an aerial bomb as well, as opposed to a torpedo. Uh, and it just was a dud, created that hole and then just uh, kept going down. So anyway, this is the video for today. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, quick look at some of those interesting things about the croaker. And uh, we will see you tomorrow. And thanks so much for watching.